Hello, fellow beekeepers. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Keith Buchanan. I wanted to put together a short video as an example of some of the tools that I've mentioned on our conference calls. Uh, by no means are these the only tools that we have available. These are simply the ones that I'm most familiar with. Uh, the tools and techniques that I'll outline in this video can complement other tools such as Zoom. Let's get started. These next two slides talk about tools and techniques that might be used for our online content. Uh, PowerPoint presentations are a good one-way tool and it can also be used uh, for future reference since you can page uh, back through the slides and find in the information you're looking for. Uh, you can embed uh, additional information uh, through links to websites or YouTube videos, other documents. Recorded voiceovers with PowerPoint uh, are, are very powerful since the voiceover can provide the additional content very similar to a live meeting, but it's not as easy to use uh, for a future reference. The recorded videos can convey a lot of information very quickly. It communicates information in less time. Uh, it engages the audience much more. Recorded Skype calls can be used a couple different ways. Uh, for an interview, it can be, it, it can be a two-way communication, or the pr uh, remote presenter can provide the uh, voiceover to a presentation that's recorded at a different location. Of course, the best approach is to use all of the tools when they make sense and use combinations of tools depending on the content and the information and how you want to present it. This shows a, a, an example of how we might conduct our monthly meetings. Uh, this shows how we might break down the, the meeting into two parts, a pre-recorded part and a live part. For the recorded part, we can capture uh, either a Zoom conference call or a Skype call for a remote presenter. Uh, we can also record uh, information from the officer's, president's report, treasurer's report, etc. And all of that can be packaged and posted online so that our members can view them at their leisure prior to the live conference call, let's say on our second Tuesday of the month. The live conference call is an opportunity for people to ask questions. Uh, with a large number of, of people participating in the live call, it's sometimes difficult to get the questions heard and uh, to, uh, to prevent people from stepping over top of each other. So the best way to do that is to have a very tightly managed call. Questions can be submitted prior to the call. The moderator can read the questions, give the presenter or the club officer a chance to answer the question. Then the person asking the question might be given the opportunity to do a follow-up uh, if there's if time permits, we can also accept new questions through text. The uh, moderator can uh, read the the text message, give the presenter or officer a chance to answer the questions. So now we're going to uh, see how a Skype call would be held. So this is my wife Janice. She's volunteered to help us out. Uh, so Janice, you've recently become interested in beekeeping. Why is that? Because my husband and my son started hives last spring, and I find it fascinating. So you seem to be a little disappointed when we had to cancel B school. Um, so why is that? I was looking forward to it, but on the other hand, I was glad that I didn't have to go sit in a room of 100 people with the COVID going on. <clears throat> so would you consider uh, taking modules online uh, in lieu of the face-to-face -face class? Yes. So this shows an example of how we might conduct B-School. Uh, it takes the original agenda from the B-School plan uh, for a Saturday, I think it was March 14th, and breaks down the different modules. Uh, if we do a online B-School, we are we have the opportunity to change the agenda since we're not forced to stay within a one day uh, event the modules should also be broken down into smaller pieces 
since the attention span uh, of an online viewer is, is probably shorter than if you have someone captured and, and sitting in a chair in a room. So, but we can also have the PowerPoint presentations and recorded videos to show certain skills like lighting a smoker or assembling a frame and et cetera. So this is just an example. Um, a more detailed plan would have to be developed uh, in order to actually execute on the uh, B-School. Uh, my recommendation is that we do that uh, over a period of time, uh, release the modules, uh, maybe one topic per week uh, that would allow us to schedule uh, speakers uh, to do the, the recording, also do the editing post-processing in order to get the content uh, online. So there are several things that we must do. Uh, we, in order to have the quality that would ensure that people get the value in the content and also come back and, and want to view more content, is we need to have a minimum criteria, a minimum standard on the quality of the video and audio. It, uh, guidelines for uh, how to produce this, how, how to present it, is critical in order to maintain that quality. Uh, we also should develop a detailed curriculum and production plan for B-School, since that's probably the most complex uh, of all of our uh, events. This is an outline of a production plan. It's a high level for what took place in producing this video, including the lead-in music, the introductions, uh, the beginning slides with voiceover, the Skype call, the wrap-up, and then the lead-out music uh, for the video. This shows a more detailed production plan. Some of the terminology is tied to specific tools. For example, a scene is an OBS term, Open Broadcast Software Studio, OBS Studio. Uh, it allows you to have different uh, configurations of microphones, uh, desktop uh, cameras, and show them in different sizes, and you can step through different scenes as you record uh, the video. So how was this put together? Uh, of course, the PowerPoint presentation probably took the most time. The lead-in music was captured and edited using Audacity, recorded the presentation with the voiceover, recorded the Skype call, and then merged and edited everything together. So the tools were Audacity for the audio, Skype to ca capture the interview with my wife, OBS Studio to do the desktop capture, and then Shotcut to merge everything together and produce the final video. So the next steps. Uh, what I'd like to do is schedule a conference call for Monday to simulate what a monthly meeting would look like. Uh, please submit your questions to me about what you saw in this video. Um, I will record the conference call next week. That way, those of you who aren't able to make the call on Monday have a chance to go back and listen to the questions. So the, if you notice in the video or the uh, animated image that's playing on this slide, and look in the lower left cell of the image, you'll see some critters running around, uh, varroa mites uh, running rampant in that particular cell. Just happened to catch that while uh, I was reviewing the slides. So, in summary, uh, send your questions, comments, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please attend the conference call on Monday at 8.30. Uh, access code is provided, and I look forward to uh, talking to you then. Thank you.